Um, I teach leadership, as you just heard, at Harvard Business School. And if there was ever a time in our nation where there's confusion about what leadership is, this is one of those times. There's enormous confusion about what a leader does, why we don't have more leadership. I'm asked constantly, is there a leadership crisis in this country? And when it comes to sustainability, really sustainability is all about leadership. Now, before I start, my definition of leadership is figuring out what you truly believe, what you have conviction about, and then second, having the courage to act on it. Think about what you believe, search for what you believe, and then have the courage to act on it. And in many cases, we're lacking that today. Professor Lazarus just talked about the frustration uh, on sustainability efforts nationally, and really it's a story of lack of leadership. The good news is, I think we have, and I'm a little biased, of course, I think we have a great example of leadership on sustainability right here at Harvard. There may be many things we can be critical and self-critical as we should be about, but I think our sustainability effort here is a great example of successful leadership. And let me explain why, because I think it's a model for other leadership efforts so we can break through this leadership impasse. First of all, in starting this effort back several years ago, the first thing that Drew Faust and the leadership did is articulate a clear vision, a clear aspiration for our role in leadership in the world on sustainability. And there were two parts. There were our research activities and there were our campus activities. And we said clearly, we want to be a model. But we went one step further. We, made, we put out a marker, a specific goal, which you've heard about earlier, that Harvard would reduce its greenhouse gas emissions from 2006 to 2016 net of growth, after taking into account growth, by 30%. And while everyone heard this goal, and people were in, the, in Harvard Yard and heard this goal. This was an, and is an audacious goal. But it, it manifests itself as a clear vision that is unambiguous. We've made a commitment to do this. What did that do by articulating that vision? It, it provides a prism through which we judge every action we take now on this campus. Does it serve achieving that goal? Does it serve us being a leader in the world on sustainability? We talked about uh, President Obama. Just think if our political leaders would state a specific goal on this issue as well as other issues. But for us here at Harvard, it had a powerful impact. It was galvanizing. It immediately told us what we need to do and it gave us, again, a filter, a prism to judge our efforts. The second thing we did is we created priorities. And we made sure that sustainability and this greenhouse gas emission goal, it was a priority. Now, in a big university like this, that's got many things it does to make a positive impact in the world, it would have been easy over the last five years with economic ups and downs to have backed away from this goal or found excuses not to reach this goal. But we didn't do that because we made it a priority, which means in good times and bad, we stay at it. We're committed to it. We describe it in our website as a commitment. That's a priority. So vision and priorities. And then we did a third thing in this university. We created alignment. And alignment means every process organizationally that we follow here we committed and reorganized it when necessary to meet this goal. In our case, what we did is we broke down silos, which do exist between schools here. Our schools are very independent. We created an executive committee with a representative from every school at Harvard. By doing that, everyone on that committee owns achieving this goal. Every school through that owns this sustainability goal. It's made it possible for us to do some things university-wide that normally aren't possible. Turning down the thermostat in every school, 
in the, in, in the winter, turning it up in the summer. We needed process change around here to create alignment so we could work together and have joint ownership to create that goal, and we did that. We also changed the culture here, where now by um, a whole series of things we do, it's cool to think about green. It's important to think about green. When I pick up a plastic bottle, Katie Lapp smacks my hand and says, don't do that. You need to use a, correct? Use a pitcher, and you, I get it. We've had a real cultural change here. That's what I mean by alignment. We did then a fourth thing. We created a very specific action plan. And I mean very specific. By day, by week, by month, by year. We've got a PERT chart that's got uh, responsibilities and action steps by every constituency in this university, as well as specific actions. So we've got a clear roadmap, and basically what that does is each constituency knows what they're supposed to do. And when they don't, we make changes so that we better communicate it, and they do. Uh, lastly, uh, we've had great leadership, in my opinion. Uh, Katie Lapp, Drew Faust, Lisa Hogarty, Heather Hendrickson and her entire team, and a whole range of other people, many of whom you will hear speak today, have been leaders in this, and it takes leadership to drive a vision, follow through on priorities, create alignment, and drive an action plan, and we've got that. Just think if we followed this template in our government, as, as Professor Lazarus was talking about, and other uh, initiatives that are important to this country and this world. Again, I say there's a lot of confusion about leadership. A lot of people think leadership is about charisma, or having a good personality, or being charming, or you must be born this way. You know, I can't really learn to be a leader. And I would submit instead, I think we're learning here at Harvard through sustainability, it's about articulating a clear vision, specific, clear, setting priorities, aligning the organization, the team, the leadership, everything we do, having a specific action plan that we follow through on, and leaders who will drive it. I think for all of us here, including me, these are good, this is a good lesson to remind ourselves of in things we want to do. What do I believe in, and do I have the courage and the backbone and the, for, uh, the, the skills to act on it? I think this roadmap here is going to allow Harvard to say, set a great example, not just in sustainability for those here and around the world, but I think for leadership generally on how you make change. So thank you very much.